Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to make a cam profile when the roller follower moves with cycloidal motion. So let's see the question. You have to draw the profile of cam and the roller follower moves with cycloidal motion during both outstroke and return stroke. And outstroke, it is maximum displacement of 31.4 mm during 180 degree of cam rotation. When the follower moves outwards, then theta naught is 180. In the return stroke, theta r is 150. Then follower dwell for remaining 30 degree of the cam rotation. The minimum radius of the cam is 15 mm and ruler diameter is given which is 10 mm. And the axis of follower is offset by 10 mm towards right side from the axis of camshaft. Means if this is the axis of the camshaft, then ruler follower should be here and this axis is offset by 10 mm. So let's start the question. First of all, you have to make the displacement diagram of the roller follower and for that you have to take the scale factor. And I'm going to take scale factor as 2 degree is equal to 1 mm. So if I'm making an angle of 360 degree, then I will make a linear line of 180 mm. Okay, so let's make a line of 180 mm. So it represents the 360 degree and it is 180 mm in actual scale. So let's make a vertical line of 31.4 mm which is my maximum displacement of the follower. Now let's complete the rectangle. Now the outstroke of 180 degree which is 90 mm as per the scale factor and make a vertical line from here. Then again return stroke of 150 degree and it is equal to 75 mm as per the scale factor and make a vertical line. Then rest for the dwell which is 30 degree is equal to 15 mm. Now divide this outstroke into six equal parts and each division is 15 mm and provide the namings to all the equal divisions from 0 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In the same way divide return stroke into six equal parts from 1 dash to 6 dash and each division is equal to 12.5 mm. At point O, make a generating circle and what is this generating circle? It is equal to whatever the maximum displacement you have that is 31.4 divided by total rotation that is 2 pi. So it will be equal to 5 millimeter. So with the radius of 5 millimeter, make a circle at point 0 and divide this circle into six equal parts because we divide outstroke and return stroke in six equal parts. So we will divide like this. Now join four to five and two to one. From the center of the circle, make a line towards six vertical line. As we see that from one and two, this is a midpoint of one and two line. From this midpoint, make a line towards here and stops up to 2 because this horizontal line represents the 1 and 2 points. So we will stop 1 and 2 here. In the same way from 4 to 5 this is the center and from this point make a line towards vertical lines and it will stop the vertical line which represents the point 5. So 4 and 5 it will cross like this up to 5 and mark the points over here. This is a 5, this is a 4 point and it will represent the third because this is a vertical third line and three point represents from the diameter of the circle. Now give the namings to these points from A, B, C, D, E and F. Now from point A make a horizontal line up to 5 dash and mark a point over here. In the same way from B to 4 dash and mark a point over here. From C to 3 dash, from D to 2 dash and E to 1 dash line. So mark a points over here from G to L and M and just join these points freehand to make a displacement curve. So students, this is a displacement diagram of this question. Let's make a cam profile with the help of this displacement diagram. So to make a cam profile, make a center lines, give the center as O and make a base circle which represents the minimum radius of the cam. Now with the help of compass, make a circle of 15 mm radius. As we know that this is a roller follower, you have to know the pitch circle radius. And what is the formula for that? We have a formula like whatever the base circle radius that is 15 mm plus 
the radius of the roller. So it is 15 plus 5 that is 20 mm. So pitch circle radius is 20 mm. So make a circle of pitch circle which represents the radius of 20 mm. After that make a offset circle which is 10 mm of radius and from this offset circle from the right side make a line upwards and wherever it cuts the pitch circle mark a point 0 and make a circle over here which represents the roller forward radius and in this case it is 5 mm. Now from this 0 point make a line which passes through the center O and it represents the 180 degree which is our outstroke and make a line at the distance of 150 degree which represents the return stroke. Rest we have a 30 degree which represents the dwell. Now divide this 180 degree into 6 equal parts like this and give the namings to each and every point from 1 to 6. So it represents my outstroke which is in this case theta O 180 degree. In the same way 150 degree into 6 equal parts like this and make the namings to it from 1 dash to 6 dash. Now we have the points over here you can erase these lines and from point 1 make a tangent to the offset circle. In the same way from the 2 make a tangent to the offset circle. In the similar manner from all equal divisions make a tangent to the offset circle like this. In the similar manner make a tangent from the return stroke equal divisions towards the offset circle like this. Now mark the distance from the displacement diagram like 1 to A, 2 to B, 3 to C, 4 to D, 5 to E and 6 to F and mark these distances on the CAM profiles. So from point 1 to A, so this is a 1 to A, again from 2 to B, whatever the distance we have in the displacement diagram, exactly same distance we have to extend over here. In the same way from 3 to C, from 4 to D and 5 to E, 6 to F. In the similar manner, we can make the distances from the return stroke. So we have a 1 dash to G. So you can see this, the same distance we have, 1 to G. In a similar manner, from 2 dash to H, 3 dash to I, 4 dash to J and 5 dash to K. And last point we have L over here which is coincident with 6 dash. Now take A as a center, make a circle of 5 mm which represents the ruler follower. In the similar manner take B as a center and make a circle of 5 mm which is again a ruler follower. In the same way from all the points like from point C make a ruler follower over here. In the similar manner from D to L make a roller followers like this which represents the 5 mm radius. Now make a pitch curve which passes through the center of the roller followers like this. You can see just make a free hand over here and it will represents the pitch curve. Now to make a cam profile we are going to join the lower part of the roller followers means we have to pass free hand sketch towards the tangent of these roller followers like this. You can see this just make a free hand and it should be passing through the tangent to the roller followers. So students this is a cam profile when you have a cycloidal motion and the follower is of roller. So I hope you understand this video. If you have any query you can comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Be happy.